Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's Craig here from Giffords Electrical. I hope everybody is well. Um, if you're new here, also welcome. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel using the big red button in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, we are today fitting um, a My Energy Zappy. Um, so here it is in its all its glory. Um, basically, it's for a uh, Tesla uh, Model S. So we've got that going in, um, basically got that going in. That's That was already there. So in this vicinity here, basically. Um, PME supply. So we've got that in there. Um, obviously, I've already got our cable coming out. Laser leveled up to get those in. Um, basically run it on along underneath this brickwork, clipped direct. Um, it's gonna go into here first. Um, a whisker box on so we can then obviously get our CT clamp on and then we'll come back out and um, obviously mount it up there. Um, it's an Eaton Mamera 2000 board so we've got a breaker for that, uh, 32 amp supply. We've informed the DNO um, who are going to come out in the next 10 working days but because it's got the load limiting we can actually fit it today, um, set it to 60 amps, they'll come and then if, if we want to increase it we can do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at. So um, we've got the hub and everything to go inside as well. I've just put the feed through because um, I wanted to make sure I got that in um, and we'll go from there. Um, I'll show you, um, I'm not gonna show you inside the house at the moment, um, but I'll show you the board in a bit. It's actually not bad. It's quite a tidy little board. So we've got Doncaster Cable's EV Ultra cable, which is the um, three core and data side of it. Um, and actually the cable's quite nice because it's all the normal colors. So brown, blue, and green and yellow. And then you've got an extra inside there, you've got the extra feed for the data side thing. So um, that's one of the reasons why we're putting the junction box inside the meter box, because we're gonna uh, cut the cable open, take out the CT clamp for the My Energy and, and, and stick it in there, and then join it onto the, the data portion. And then obviously it's just one cable straight to Zappi. Um, it isn't the SWA, we are clipping it direct. It is not going underground, it's not being buried, uh, so it doesn't need any additional mechanical protection. Um, in hindsight, maybe I would have bought it, but it's, um, it's quite expensive, um, and I wanted to minimize how many cables we were running on the outside. But we don't need um, SWA um, because we are clipping it direct. If we were burying it, we'd need additional mechanical protection. And even Doncaster's own information about it says that it can be buried if it has mechanical protection so if it was inducting or anything like that but in this instance we're clipping direct we don't need to use SWA um, so we're gonna I'm gonna get this clipped um, we'll then get the board mounted and everything uh, board we'll get the zappy mounted and everything and I'll show you inside we'll run through our tests and whatnot all right I've got my mask because the client is home. Uh, they've given permission to film, but I want to try and um, avoid as much intrusion in there as possible, but we've got our masks just in case we do need to go in. Okay, you lovely lot, cables in. We come into the box here, um, into a, uh, a Wago, uh, not a Wago, a whisker box. Um, so we can then basically get our, um, if I can get it open. This is, this is like the, the lock itself is broken. Um, but yeah, it's broken the lock. Okay. Right, so we've basically got our feed coming in. Okay, so feed comes in across the bottom, comes up into this whisker box. Um, we've got our CT clamp. Now it then connects to, just via some way goes, connects to the data um, part of the EV Ultra, and then carries on through up until we get to here. So we've got our feeds in. Now I haven't actually, I've just put some um, ferrules on these. 
and these are connected into CT1. So on the CT clamp from My Energy, it's black and red, okay? So I've just, although it's not black and red on the EV Ultra cable, uh, red to red, blue to black, so it still maintains the RB, so red into positive, blue into negative, or so we go from there. Um, it keeps trying to rain here, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to put, um, while I go inside, um, what I'll do, I'm gonna um, make my connections off here quickly um, so they're linked in the board. I'll go and test the connection at the board end, make sure that we've got continuity, um, and then I'm just going to put the lid on so at least it's if it does rain while I'm inside it's still protected so uh, next shot will be inside all right okay so we've already done our R1 we're going to do our sorry R1 RN we're going to do our R1 R2 0 0.04 which is exactly the same as the R1 RN <laughs> so IR line in neutral okay then 999 and then we're going to IR uh, Line and CPC. Brilliant. So next thing is to do our loop check, PFC, uh, and then we'll do an RCD test. Right. So that's test it was ZE rather. Zero point one eight. Happy days. Okay. So feeds in. Just gotta. I haven't switched on at the moment, so we're just going to uh, go back to the, the unit, connect it all up, and then we'll be able to go from there. Okay, so when you're in the, the Zappy menu, um, you've got advanced. Now, I'm already in there, so but it normally asks for a passcode. Um, so you've got the supply grid. Um, device is if, you're, if you've got different phases, if you're on a three-phase supply. So I'm going to go network, and we've got export margin, obviously there's nothing to export this time. We've got grid limit. Now, in order to comply with the DNO, we have to set this to 60 amps at the moment. They're then going to come out um, and assess it anyway, um, to ensure that there is a 100 amps fuse in there. Um, and then we'll come and reset that uh, and basically turn it off, set it to 100 amp or 95 amp really. Um, but you've got link devices, that's where your, your devices and that are located. So things like the Harvey and the, the hub and stuff. Seating configuration. So we've basically got internal load, which is the CT clamp internally. And then we've got CT1, which is connected to the grid, um, which you've already seen. And then obviously you've got various other bits and pieces, but I'm not, I'm not actually interested in this for the purpose of the video. Uh, I will be changing the menu passcode because they are set to default. Um, so that will be changed. Um, so yeah, but that's where we're at. I'm just literally going to plug it in, do an RCD test, and we'll go from there. Okay. So we can see that the the Zappy is saying it's charging. Uh, we're using our EV check from Rolex, um, and I don't know if you can see that, but three three neons. They're not the brightest of things. They should be brighter, really. But three neons means a pass, and we've got a pass. Um, I'm going to do my loop test, and if I do, we need to leave uh, anti trip technology on because. Uh, obviously, we're testing onto the RCD site, so, so obviously, if we don't have ATT on, it'll trip the RCD. And we've got 0 0.37 um, RCD next, so we know we're on a Type A, it's a 30 milliamp. Um, so, we're just going to hit that, and we should get zero reading for um, the half test which we do and then I don't know if that's reset inside the house yeah gonna need to reset inside the house so I'll be back in a moment okay as expected the um, RCD did trip in the house which is brilliant um, and our highest reading was actually uh, 59 milliseconds on the 180 side at times one and then 17 milliseconds on the times five so I'll record both answers on the test sheet for the client um, and then we're just literally pairing our hub up. So, that's here. so yeah, device is updating. So I think they're they're pairing together, which means the client will then be able to use everything um, via the app.
Okay guys, that is us done and dusted at the Zappi install. Uh, client's really happy. It's been a few days um, since we were last there. Um, I just forgot to shoot the, the exit video uh, portion of the video. Um, all tested back fine. We've obviously got the grid limit on to 60. We're waiting on the SSEN to come out and just verify that there is 100 amp fuse. Um, so yeah, we're waiting on them and then we'll go back and, and reset the grid limit to, to 95 amps. So um, all in all, client's very happy. I absolutely love the, the Doncaster cable. Um, it's basically an, a British affair, that job, because we've got the Zappi uh, from My Energy, British company. We've got Doncaster cable, British company, and then securing it all, Alinean clips, British company. Um, you know, so made in Britain, you know, it's a win-win really, and I don't mind paying a little bit extra for, for quality kit, um, especially if it's going to support the, you know, the British economy. Um, client's really happy. We plugged the Tesla in um, off camera and yeah, charges, no problem. Uh, I love, they're just little details in the Tesla that, that just make me smile every time I see them. You know, the, the little flap to the side of the light. When you charge it, obviously you get, when you actually plug it in, it tells you how much battery you got life. I know a lot of them do that, but just something, you know, a little bit special about the Teslas. Um, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you again soon on the next video. Bye for now.